Hello, this video will show how can we add email texture in Blender. In this video, I will show how to add albedo map, reference map, normal map, displacement map into this scene. This texture is generated by AI texture generator. We can find this video in this channel to show how we can get this texture. This is the default scenes in Blender. Firstly, I delete the default object and add a plan for demonstrate how we can add the image texture. At the bottom view port, we can switch to shader editor and then we can add a new material into this plan. I will keep principal bsdf look here shift a to add image texture shift a to add mapping shift a to add in texture coordinates generate collapse to vector vector collapse to vector to use albedo texture, we use color collage to base color. And then click open to link the image texture. I will use stone with more albedo image texture. So open it. It is still in solid shade demo. We can go to material preview to preview the image texture here. And then we can adjust the location, rotation, and scale here. I reduce, increase the size here. And, and then we can rotate it. I will use 90 degree. So this is how we can add albedo mapping in Blender. And then we can add reference map. I copy and paste this image texture root and replaced by reference map. And then I use the same mapping, collage to vector, color, collage to reference. So we got the reference map adding to this plan before this and after. Actually, we can add the color ramp to control the reference. Shift A, color ramp. So, if we adjust the color bar, we can have different kind of reference. To make it dark, we can get a shiny surface. Next, we can add the normal map. I copy and paste this texture root and replace by normal map. Use the same mapping and connect to vector and shift A to search normal map. So the color connect to color and normal connect to normal. So we got the normal texture now. We can adjust the string. I will use 0 0.25. So we got the shape and texture on the surface. We can see that before and after. And then we can add displacement map. I copy and paste this image texture root and replace to displacement image. Use the same mapping, connect to vector. Shifting to search displacement. Color, connect to height. And displacement, connect to displacement in material output but we can see that it doesn't work for displacement map because we need to switch to render preview 
and switch to cycle renderer experimental in feature sets it's quite dark we need to add the lighting to the scene i will add sky texture to the row shift a sky texture color connect to color and 0 0.1 to the string of background we can adjust the size of the sun and location of the sun entity i will use 5000 and ocean i will use 10 and then we can add the subdivision surface modifier to the brand go to modifier properties and add subdivision surface just simple check the boss adaptive subdivision i will use sex in levels viewport and go to material make sure that in the setting we switch displacement to displacement and bump so it show the displacement map event we can go back to the material adjust the scale i will use 0 0.05 and zero in the mid level this is how we can add the displacement map in Blender. we can change the view to see the shape of the stone and the moves and then i will name this material to stone with moles and we then this plan to stone with moles i try to add a brick wall i copy and paste and call it brick wall and make sure that we have add a new metro and call it back wall and i need to rotate to negative 90 degree and move backwards move upwards and then we can replace the texture here click open to choose break albedo click open to choose break roughness click here to choose break normals and click here to choose break displacement and we can rotate the texture in mapping i will use 180 degree so this is the brick wall texture and i can duplicate this brick wall and move it to to the left so i will rotate to 90 degree and move downwards and move to the front this is how we can add image texture in blender thank you for watching this video hope this helped please subscribe this channel more video will be shared with you i'm atisby see you in the next video bye bye